सो नाउ लेट एस परफॉर्म वन मोर एक्टिविटी एंड स्टडी हाउ टू प्रिपेर अ पिन होल कैमेरा अ पिन होल कैमेरा एक्टिविटी नाउ वी विल टेक एन एम टी सिलेंड्रिकल बॉक्स रिमूव इट्स कैप ऑन वन साइड एंड पेस्ट अ थिन वाइट पेपर इन इट्स प्लेस now make a small hole at the center of the other cap light a candle and hold the box in such a way that the flame of the candle is in front of the hole now observe from other end what do you see on thin paper yes you will see an upside down or inverted image of the flame on thin paper why is this so will answer the question use your brain power why is the image on the diaphragm of the pinhole camera inverted yes the rays from the flame of the candle propagate in a straight line and enter through the hole of the pinhole camera since the rays from the flame of the candle travel in a straight line they enter in cross manner on the diaphragm at the same time rays from the bottom of the candle also enter the hole in the cross way and reach the upper part of the diaphragm due to this image obtained inside the pinhole becomes inverted in this way due to linear propagation of the light rays the image becomes inverted on the diaphragm of the pinhole camera so now let us study about the concept that is transparent opaque and translucent objects so here we are able to see three different types of windows so let us look through the windows are all these windows same no all the windows are not same so we'll observe from each of the window so let's observe from the first window are we able to observe the things clearly yes the things outside can be seen clearly because the light rays coming from the things are able to pass through the window now let us observe through the second window so are we able to observe the things clearly not so much yes because see the thing cannot the things outside cannot be seen very clearly because only few light rays coming from the things are able to pass through the window now let us observe through the third window can we see anything the thing outside cannot be seen because the light rays cannot pass through the window thus the first window is transparent the second one is translucent and the third one is opaque thus depending on the nature of the window pane that is whether it is transparent opaque or translucent yeah this is called as its nature we may or may not see the objects on the other side through it now let us observe the pictures that is piece of a glass wax paper tinted glass oil paper white plastic a tea kettle a notebook cloth water a wooden cupboard sheet of a notebook identify the transparent opaque and translucent objects from among the following so piece of a glass and water are said to be transparent objects because we can see clearly through it white plastic tea kettle notebook cloth wooden cupboard are said to be opaque objects because we cannot see through it wax paper tinted glass oil paper sheet of a notebook are translucent objects 
बिकॉज वी कैन सी थ्रू इट बट नॉट सो क्लियरली सो दे आर कॉल्ड ट्रांसलूसेंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो वी कैव स्टडीड दैट द मटेरियल थ्रू विच लाइट पासिस इज सेट टू बी ट्रांसपेरेंट द मटेरियल थ्रू विच लाइट डज नॉट पास इज सेट टू बी ओपेक एंड द मटेरियल थ्रू विच लाइट पास इज पार्शली इज सेट टू बी ट्रांसलूसेंट सो नाउ लेट एस लर्न अबाउट द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ शैडो एक्टिविटी टेक एन इलेक्ट्रिक टॉर्च फ्लैश इट्स लाइट ऑन अ वॉल नाउ मेक योर फ्रेंड स्टैंड इन बिटवीन द टॉर्च एंड द वॉल वॉट हैपन्स वॉट डू यू सी ऑन द वॉल वेन योर फ्रेंड कम इन फ्रंट ऑफ द टॉर्च लाइट अ डार्क पैच इज फॉर्म ऑन द वॉल दिस इज बिकॉज इफ एन ऑपिक ऑब्जेक्ट comes in the way of a light source light does not pass through it as a result the light does not reach a wall or any other surface on the other side of the object that part remains dark this dark part is called the shadow of the object compare this compare the objects in your environment with the shadows they form so here we are having a boy standing on a footpath street lamp and a wall behind it the size of shadow of the street lamp is longer than the size of shadow formed due to the boy standing on footpath and the wall let us now perform one more activity to understand more about shadows activity ask your friend to stand at a certain distance from you in a big room and obtain the shadow of your friend on the wall with the help of a torch now carry out the following actions observe and make a note of the changes taking place in the shadow send the friend closer to the wall what do you see the shadow of the friend becomes small now ask the friend to come towards you what do you see the shadow of the friend becomes longer and bigger next you move further away from him and towards him again what do you notice the shadow of your friend changes its shape according to your movement when you are away from the friend the shadow is larger and when you are close to your friend the shadow is smaller now stand on the wooden block and hold the torch high what do you see when the torch is held high the shadow falls near his feet now sit down and hold the torch low when the torch is held low the shadow becomes longer finally go towards the left and then towards the right of your friend when the left side is approached the shadow falls on the right side of the friend when the right side is approached the shadow falls on the left side of the friend therefore in this activity we have seen different changes taking place in the shadow so what have we learned the shadow of an object is formed only when light does not pass through the object the kind of shadow it forms depends upon the relative distances between the source of light the object and the surface or the screen on which the shadow is formed The shadow of an object formed due to sunlight is long in the morning and evenings and short in the afternoon. We can easily note these changes if we observe the trees along the road side. This change in the shadow depends on the source of light, the object and also on the surface on which the shadow is formed. Do you know a sundial 
A sundial is an instrument that indicates the time with the help of the extent and the direction of the shadow of an object formed in the sunlight. Means due to the extent. Extent means what? Till which that shadow is reaching. Till which area. Yes. Whether it is long, short. Yes. That is called as extent. And direction means which side east west north south which direction it is based on that this uh, sundial used to indicate the time earlier the time was measured by placing a stick parallel to the axis of the earth by noting the position of its shadow on the dial at different times of the day the largest sundial is at Jantar Mantar, New Delhi. The research work presented by the Indian scientist Sir C. V. Raman regarding scattering of light is known as the Raman effect. He discovered this effect on 20th February 1928. To commemorate this event, 20th February is celebrated as National Science Day since 1987 in India. A little fun. Use your hands and feet to make different shadows, shapes of birds, animals, etc. Isn't it funny? Let us now perform few activities to know an interesting phenomenon of light. We will begin with one activity. That is splitting of white light. So the apparatus required are apparatus means things which are required for this activity are a glass, water, a large white sheet of paper. Now fill the glass with water and place the glass on the white sheet in the window so that it receives direct sunlight. What is seen on the paper? Yes, we can see seven different colors on the paper. Now take a prism and place it in a dark room. On the one side place a white screen. Now take a torch on the other side and pass it light through the prism. Means pass the light on the prism. The light will pass through the prism and then what do we see? Yes, we can see that the light passing through the prism splits in seven different colors on the white screen. Let us do another activity. For this activity we require soap water and a loop of wire. Dip the wire loop in the soap water and then blow on it. Soap bubbles are formed. Do you see the beautiful colors of the rainbow in these bubbles? Yes, we are able to see different colors of the rainbows in these bubbles. Now, what do you see on holding a CD in the sun? Yes, when sunlight falls on CD, we see many different colors. So, all these activities tell us that the white sunlight consists of seven colors. In the past, the British scientist Sir Isaac Newton made a special disc. One side of the disc was divided equally in seven petals of the seven colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. The disc was fitted on a stand and rotated fast. As the disc rotated, the seven colors disappeared and only white was seen. This proved that sunlight is made up of seven colors. That is why the disc is known as Newton's disc. Newton wrote a book called Optics about light. Always remember the shape of a shadow depends upon the source of light, the object and the surface on which it is formed. 
we should not get frightened by the shadows we see at night because there is simple science behind that what we have learned a substance that emits light is source of a light the natural resource of light are the sun the stars fireflies etc the lantern the flame of candle and electric bulb etc are artificial sources of light light is propagated in a straight line light must be reflected from the surface of an object for the object to be seen if an opaque object obstruct the path of light it cast a shadow white sunlight contains seven colors